there everybody so just finishing up on this fork thing here and um, cutting these dropouts I just used a piece of uh, two inch wide strip I think it's a I don't know probably uh, maybe eighth inch thick I guess <coughs> but uh, yeah that's one thing about these old red line style dropouts is that they're pretty um, pretty straightforward and basic and easy to replicate I guess you could say I didn't have an actual fork to get the dimensions off of I used to have you know one on my first old bike I had one that was this style fork and so um, you know just kind of going off memory and then looking up some old you know just Google images and stuff like that and, you know I kind of tried to replicate how they were welded and everything but anyway there's the basic uh, little triangle there and you know again I just kind of tried to guesstimate where to actually put the you know the slot or the hole you know to make the slot and so you know, I just looked at pictures and stuff I just used a 3 8 um, drill so I figured you know work with a normal BMX style front axle or I think what I'm going to use though is a, a 9 millimeter quick release style so it'll be you know I can put it in my truck rack and stuff but you know I reposition it there it's getting a little starting to move a little bit so got that all finished up and you know just uh, took it to the bandsaw and slotted it you know straight off the circle from there and then um filed it you know I noticed looking at all the pictures the edges were all kind of rounded over so I just worked it over for a little while and got everything nice and smooth and got it as close to the pictures um, as I could so I felt like it turned out pretty good um, so got it mocked up here just to try to get my uh, a definitive height line and I just used a, like a, I think it's a 700 by 32, which, you know, I measured one up, the, up at the shop, and it looked like height-wise it was pretty much the same as the 650B um, wheel and tire combo that I want to use. So I just used that because I had one here in my garage. And, um, you know, honestly, once you kind of lock these down, it, they would stay straight. It would, you know, as far as, parallel wise with the fork legs that they would kind of want to move up and down so I had to kind of position those just so and then just did the first two metal tacks first and then after that everything was pretty easy and it's kind of nice leaving that big long section on uh, you know for a while before I cut it off and made a nice little prop you know really on either end there to, to weld them so I kind of just went back and forth on the dropouts and you know like I say I just welded them um, basically how the old you know the first generation as far as what I could tell red lines were in fact it was about a inch or so on the back side and you know probably 75 percent of the welds on the front side There's mostly from the top down and then a little bit around the bottom so uh, that's one of the inside bottom inside portion and then you can kind of see the pattern there on the outside the inside but yeah I was pretty happy with how it turned out um, you know it all is nice and straight and everything and it's, you know, fairly easy I can see how they you know this design it's you know I could imagine a lot of people think it's pretty clunky looking but so deciding to how long to cut these legs off you know I thought well I could do it like a S&M Holmes extended version but you know that's almost digging into the ground so then I thought about doing like a Botima look you know cutting it off right there it's originally was debating back and forth but uh, since the fork was weighed so much or it wasn't super heavy once I got you know all said and done but I wanted to just stick with the classic red line look um, the end caps I just took one of the square pieces that um, I had about this tubing there and just drew out some little templates on some, uh, I think this is some 16 gauge G3 
just metal that was I cut off my uh, the front end of my old welding table whenever I was kind of modifying that so it seemed like a decent thickness so this is what I used and yeah that blade there um, I ended up finally going through my other 24 TPI Milwaukee blade so I went up to the Home Depot a couple days ago and all they had were the 18 TPIs and I don't know those things work okay for thick stuff but you know when you get really dense stuff they're just I don't know they seem really grabby I don't necessarily like how they cut the you know thin stuff so I don't know try to track me down some 24 TPI blades here for long definitely not a bad idea to have some of the 24s on hand just for different heavier stuff but yeah I don't really like it at all for this thin stuff but just cut all the little corners off you know pretty far and then just took the flap disc on my grinder and um, what I was trying to kind of my goal was I wanted to you know the inside edge of the of the black there is I guess the outside edge of the fork leg but I wanted to leave just a little bit of overhang um, just knowing that this metal was you know and I kind of tapered it down as well it was gonna burn off a lot quicker and yeah there's that 18 tooth bandsaw blade and giving it a go and um, not working well but I threw this little thing together just you know yesterday morning just to hold down the little end caps pretty easy to do I've seen a few videos on how to build these but just some scrap rebar I had off my old uh, wood metal bench thing um, but anyway yeah they worked real well to just kind of hold that cap in place there so you can see it overhangs just a little little tiny touch there maybe a millimeter or so and that worked kind of good because it kind of melted it over and basically that's I didn't really have to use any filler rod it just kind of you know melted over and then went right up into the fork leg so it was you know ended up going pretty well and then um, you know went ahead and just tacked four sides and then went around on both of them like I typically you know I've been doing on this stuff and so um, you know from there the you know the older ones they basically just kind of you know smoothed everything out so it was just looked like a leg with a cap on it so that's basically what I did took my flap disc on the grinder and took off the majority of it and then just cleaned it up here with you know some emery cloth and everything and um, yeah I think uh, the end result of it came out real nice I'm pretty happy with it and you know it is it's fairly heavy kind of feels like a maybe an S&M pitchfork or something like that but um, I don't know it's for the intended purpose I think it's gonna be great I'm pretty stoked on it so um, yeah uh, just stay tuned I'll be next the uh, next uh, video series 7 I'll be starting to cut up some tubes for the frame maybe modify that drawing just a little bit but um, yeah that's gonna do it for this one and um, yeah thanks for watching